Holiday season is prime time for family gatherings, which is a fun time for some. For others, it can be a minor inconvenience, and for some, it can be a literal nightmare. Hey there, creepy peeps. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome back. If you're returning, hi, I love you. It's been a minute since I've done a facial phobia, which was a video series created by one of my brilliant patrons, B or Queen B, as I like to call her in these moments when I'm singing her praises, where I take a phobia and explore it using horror movies, obviously. So the phobia we are talking about today is syngenesophobia or the fear of relatives, which I promise <laughs> I did not make that up. That is a real phobia. I was very actually kind of pleased to learn that this is a recognized thing and it has a name. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you five of my favorite most dysfunctional families <laughs> from horror movies so that maybe as you're you know getting together with your family this Christmas season and if it's not something you're particularly fond of maybe you can think of these movies and just think that you know it's not that bad. <laughs> so the first movie I'm going to talk about is The Hills Have Eyes. Honestly this could probably apply to both the original and the remake but the first thing I thought of was the original, so we'll just go with that in terms of what clips I show. I think puts a damper on a family vacation like being terrorized by a family of desert dwelling cannibals. Saying Jupiter had a rough childhood would be a gross understatement. This leads to him leading his own family in the only way he knows how to. In a deranged way. <laughs> This movie kind of goes along with the next movie I thought about when thinking about this, which is We Are What We Are, because they're both cannibal movies. You know, I feel like dysfunctional families and cannibalism go together quite often in the horror genre now that I'm thinking about it. I wonder why that is. <laughs> Maybe we should explore this more in another video. I had to put two cannibal movies in here because I find myself thinking a lot when I'm at a family gathering that I don't want to be at. You know, I always think like, hey, it could be worse. We could be a bunch of cannibals. And I feel like this one is just slightly more fucked up than The Hills Have Eyes because the cannibalism is kind of forced on the children to an extent. From those two films, we're going to jump off into the more like realistic fucked upness. Not that I think cannibalism is a myth or anything, but it's just not all that common. Crazy religious family members, on the other hand, are, I would say, maybe a little more common <laughs> than cannibalism. Feels weird comparing the two, but you know. Mrs. White and Carrie is top tier religious crazy and as such is terrifying as fuck. So if you go to Christmas dinner and your family members are preaching at you, just think about Carrie because homegirl had it way worse. <laughs> Next one on my list is The Shining. This is actually the first movie that popped into my head when I started thinking about, you know, fear of relatives and, you know, messed up family. I feel like what Danny and Wendy experience is the closest to the actual definition of syngenesophobia, the fear of relatives because like who wouldn't be afraid of a family member chopping down a door and chasing you through a hedge maze. <laughs> and the last movie on my list is Krampus. Surprise, surprise, Vicky is talking about a Michael Doherty movie again. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go ahead and like change my channel name to Michael Hoherty because it would just be a more accurate depiction of this channel at this point. <laughs> Anyways. I saved the best for last, or maybe I should say the best for last. I saved my favorite for last. This movie perfectly portrays the awfulness that is family get togethers, whether it be for Christmas or something else. The only unrealistic thing about it is Krampus because I've prayed for homeboy to show up at my house for Christmas for so many years and he has never shown up. Because of this, I'm just, I'm forced to believe that he's not real. It's sad. I want to believe in Krampus. So do I have Syngenesophobia. Yes. I mean, no, not clinically, not like technically speaking, but yes, yes. Please, please let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite horror examples of syngenesophobia are. Like, you know, scary relatives, dysfunctional families. As this is going up 
on Christmas. I want to wish all of you creepy peeps, whether you've been here a day, a week, a month, a year, a very Merry Christmas. If you're celebrating Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah if you're celebrating Hanukkah, a Happy Kwanzaa if you're celebrating Kwanzaa, a Blessed Yule, um, just a happy winter season. Whatever you celebrate, whatever you don't celebrate, I hope <laughs> I hope this month has been kind to you. It can be extremely stressful for so many different reasons. I hope you are taking care of yourself and we only got a few more days to go to the end of this decade. We got this. We can make it and it'll be a new year, a new decade and all good things, all good things. Anyways, though, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. You can also subscribe and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can ring that notification bell down there to be notified every time I post a video. I don't know, maybe it'll start working in 2020. Who knows? I don't know. Give it a shot. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay strange. Bye! This video is brought to you by all these lovely creepy patron peeps that you see listed here. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep yourself, you can check out that link in the description. There's a whole bunch of fun links in the description so you can follow me on all my social media, Goodreads, Letterboxd, all that good stuff, so make sure you check out the description box. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bye!